Hi, this is Theo from Pugablogs.com. Today I want to answer a viewer's question. He or she asked me, why do you need to calibrate a monitor when it is already calibrated? Now this question was posted in my video review for the Dell UP3017 monitor. Usually for high-end monitors that are meant to be color accurate, manufacturers would calibrate the monitors in their factory before sending out to their customers. However, for me, I don't know the calibration process and the criteria that they use. That is why I want to calibrate the monitor myself again at home. And let me give you an example of what would happen if you do not calibrate your monitor. Now the main reason for calibration is because you want to look at accurate colors. You want to make sure that the white color that you see is white, yellow is yellow, red is red. However, take for example, if you have a photograph of a portrait a person, that photograph does not require any uh, editing because that photograph is already perfect. However, on your monitor, if it's not accurate, it may seem that the portrait, the photograph, the colors are a bit off. So you would go and edit it to make sure that it's perfect and now it looks perfect on your monitor. And when you send it to your client, the client is going to look, hey, the color is a bit off. And that's the reason because your monitor is not calibrated. So the colors are inaccurate. So even though the original photograph does not require any more editing, you still went ahead to do the editing work because you are looking at the wrong color. So that is the main reason why you need to calibrate your monitor to get accurate colors. Now the second reason also has to do with workflow. This is very important if you are working in an environment where you have colleagues who are using other monitors. Same thing, you want to calibrate all the monitors because you want to make sure that the colors that you see on your monitor is exactly the same colors as your colleagues see on their monitor so that there can be no ambiguity. Now using that portrait uh, example again, now if your monitor is not accurate, when you send that photo to your colleague, it's going to look different on his monitor because the two monitors, they are not calibrated um, to the same criteria. And the third reason for calibrating your monitor is because the monitor it will age with time. Over time, it will uh, start to, some of the light, they will start to turn yellow. And this is true for very old monitors. My monitor here is six years old and I have just calibrated it about an hour ago. Let me show you what is the original color of this monitor. So now this is the calibrated version. Let me switch over to the original color profile. Can you see the difference? This is O, this is calibrated, this is O, and this is calibrated. So with the O profile, my screen is very yellow. It makes everything appears warm and if I were to do any sort of video editing, photo editing, graphic design, all the colors are not going to be accurate. And it's going to be very difficult for me to do my job. So that's why I need to use a color calibrator to make sure that the colors are correct. So now I can turn on the calibrated mode and this is the accurate color that I'm looking at. And also with monitors, I mean this monitor is able to produce 99% uh, Adobe RGB color gamut. That was when it's new six years ago. Today when I measure it, it only measures 94% and not just that. The brightness of this monitor has gone down. So instead of the maximum of 300 CDM2, it now drops down to 180i cannot even barely cross 180 when I turn on the maximum brightness. So with a color calibrator like this, they will take into account the brightness of your monitor and adjust the colors accordingly. I know people, when they use their monitors, they like to uh, adjust the brightness. When you adjust the brightness, it actually affects colors slightly. So with a color calibrator, it will calibrate your monitor based on the brightness that you prefer to make sure that the colors are accurate. 
So that's the, those are the main reasons why you need to calibrate your monitor and having a color calibrator is very, very useful. So um, this, the one that I'm using right here is the Spider 5 Pro. It's very good. Um, this, basically, once you open up the software, it'll guide you through step by step on how to calibrate your monitor and even gives you a readout on the color gamut that it produces. I have another one. This is called the Color Monkey Display. This is also quite good. This is a bit more uh, simple in the sense that it will still guide you through step by step, but it doesn't have the color gamut readout. So um, I actually prefer the Spider 5 Pro. So that's all for today's review. I hope I have answered your question. And for those who are who don't know anything about color calibration, I hope you learned something new today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.